So the Biosecurity for Wales project has been a bit of a game changer for us. Um, we're really lucky to look after Scoma and Skokum Islands, really, really important seabed islands here in Pembrokeshire, but also in, in an international context as well. They're part of the special protection area for seabirds here in Pembrokeshire. I think the big change really for us has been the biosecurity conservation dog, the detection dog, Jinx, based in Pembrokeshire. And we've been able to use Jinx and his hander, Greg, to help us with those incursion responses. and in addition to our routine surveillance and our incursion surveillance, so trail cameras and all the things we've always used, we now have a dog who can come ashore, check around the location of a wreck, um, can check things coming out to the island as well, can check building materials and luggage for us before it comes from the mainland uh, marinas like here in Nayland and before it goes off out to the islands. So Skoma and Skokum Islands are really important for burrow nesting seabirds in particular. So between the two islands, we have about 60% of the world's population of Manx Shearwater nesting in burrows underground on the islands. So we're particularly um, vulnerable to any ground predator that could come ashore, in particular rats. So brown rat would be something we would be very concerned about and that we work really hard to make sure we, we never get on either of the islands. So puffins, manx shearwaters, all nesting underground would be incredibly vulnerable if a rat were to come ashore. Could easily go into a burrow, eat an egg, eat a chick, cause massive disturbance in, in one of our seabird colonies. I'm Alice Perry, I'm the Assistant Warden of Ramsey and Grasshome Island here um, on RSPB Ramsey. Um, part of my role is looking at the biosecurity here, so I predominantly do a lot of the monitoring work for the biosecurity. Um, so on Ramsey we have biosecurity boxes um, which have ink pads in. We have them dotted on the south, um, the middle section of the island and on the north, so every month I go around, check those, replace the ink pads and then record what species are recorded on the ink pads, in particular the rodents. Um, so this is one of the biosecurity boxes that we have on Ramsey. Um, there are several dotted all around the island, um, some of them by farm buildings and most of them, most of the other ones are along stone walls. Um, it's just a wooden shaped box and if you look at the bottom, there's a little opening on either side for rodents to run through. Um, and then what we do every month, we come and check these. We put in a little ink pad um, and a sheet in here that any rodents that run through along the box um, get their footprints printed um, on the paper. You can actually see in this box um, some bank ball footprints. Um, I'll just peel it out and then have a look. So every time we come up to the biosecurity box, we'll take the one that's in there and then replace it. And we do this monthly. Um, but I've just shown you the footprints of a bank ball, but I've got one that I took out from biosecurity box earlier. Um, and this one's got the footprints of the shrew. Um, and you can see they're much smaller um, in comparison to the bank balls. Um, so this is a slightly different um, biosecurity box compared to the one that I showed you earlier. Um, I'll just open this up for you now. But there's no ink pad in this one. Um, we actually put two blocks inside um, and it actually has some left in there. A two blocks made out of candle wax and then we'll usually mix the candle wax with cocoa. Um, so it's a bit more attractive to a rodent and then um, they'll go through the hole in the box as you can see um, and then they'll come and chew on the chew blocks and you can see the teeth marks um, on the chew blocks and then from the teeth marks you can identify them and this one here is definitely a bank vole it's got quite small teeth marks on, um, all over this and if it was a rat for example the chunks would be much bigger and they have much bigger um, front teeth as well. survival of this project you know the biosecurity for, for life biosecurity for Wales I think this is business as usual now this used to be 
a bit of a luxury, you know, we'd implement our biosecurity plan or we might come and check a boat or put some um, surveillance stations on a boat like this. But actually, it should be something we're doing every day. All our wardens are conscious of this and they work every day to make sure nothing goes ashore. So actually having the, the biosecurity hub, the training, the dog in place, I think it's definitely a long term solution. Um, it's definitely not uh, sort of nice to have, it's a must have. Um, addition to, to what we do already. Um, so yeah, we need to make sure it's funded, we need to make sure it, it's a long-term project that's available to us you know, going forward to all of our staff and our wardens and all of our seabed islands across Wales.